how many goals should we be setting? Is there a like a Goldilocks, I guess, a Goldilocks? Like, is it like too few or too many? <laughs> uh, Goldilocks. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, maybe I, like that. That. <laughs> I like that. How, how, you have to many... use that, Casper. <laughs> but how, how many I'm, goals should we be setting to, to, in order to yeah. really have a good chance of achieving them? Yeah, they no, good question. I'm just trying to think. You know, just just right, not too hot, not too cold, and all that sort of stuff. So I think that I think I think the the just right amount. I, I say it's two, and I think that you need to have one um, business goal and one personal goal. And uh, that, 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 that's how I approached anyway. And you know, it's, like the, it, it, it's all about having the, that Polestar story, that thing out there that everybody understands that it's so clear and it's running through everyone like the, the stick of rock. That's the thing that we are aiming at together as a team. Um, you know, I've heard in the, in the military, they call it the commander's intent. And once everybody knows what the commander's intent is, then you don't have to go and manage people because everybody is like really clear. That's the direction that we're heading in. So in a work context, one one pole star story was Omar Bradley, uh, former chief of staff for the, uh, the, the, the for in America. Um, was basically saying, you know, it's like once you, you know what your pole star is, you're not going to get distracted by the lights of all the passing ships. And if we have too many different goals and things that are going on, it's so easy. And I, you and I have chatted about this before, Maria. It's like, you know, there's a shiny object here, there's a shiny object here, right? And you get pulled in all sorts of directions. But it's, um, yeah. So, yeah, in, in, in any work sense, one um, big, bold goal. And I say, I, I, also, I think in, in, in personal life, I'm having that as well. And the reason I was thinking of having, having those two together is there will be times when you get stuck with one of them and it's just like nothing is moving forward, nothing makes sense. And actually to go and shift to something and actually that's kind of what I did in my journey. So it's, you know, get stuck in the business sense. Okay, well, how do I move the family goal forward? And actually then I get a brainwave and I get some ideas and I get some energy and then I can take that back to the workplace. So it's this interflow between the two different things of working on sort of um, – those two big bowl goals, but um, but I wouldn't recommend any more than that. That that'd be my my Goldilocks number. <laughs>